What's going on, everybody? Marvel the Cross 316, back with another comic book flashback, and today we are looking at Daredevil issue number 14. This issue came out in March of 1965, and today we're continuing the storyline. We have Daredevil going up against the Plunderer today, and this will be the conclusion to the storyline here as Daredevil fights the Plunderer, and it looks like the Plunderer is in a new costume here. So, we got a lot of stuff going on. Today's title is If This Be Justice. And so, will justice be served here? We know that Kazar and Daredevil were being shot at here um, last issue. And so, will they be even able to survive this big uh, blast from this gun that we saw from last issue, as well as we're going to see an appearance of Foggy Nelson and the great Karen Page as well. So today's title is brought to you by Stan Lee, who wrote this issue. We have John Romita on the artwork, Frankie Ray on the inking, and Artie Samek on the lettering page for this great issue. And so let's go ahead now and dive on into today's story. What we have to worry about is that medallion. We know that Kazar was what we learned from last issue, is related to the Plunderer. They are brothers, and when they were little, their dad gave them one half of a medallion. And when the medallion, both halves are put together, then a great power is given to that individual. And so that is what the Plunderer has been after this entire time, and we see that Kazar has half of that medallion. And here is the individual who struck down both Kazar and Daredevil. He works for the Plunderer, and he is going to be the one that steals that half of the medallion because he actually wants to get the medallion for himself because he also has learned the secrets behind its power here. And so that's what we're going to see here. His name is Feeper, or rather, Feeper's, I believe that Feeper is another person, I believe, in this. I, I don't exactly know who this guy is, but I know that he works for Darida, or for uh, the Plunderer here. So he's going to ask his boss, hey, what do I need to do here? Oh, this guy's name is Boswell, by the way. And Boswell basically says, hey, I got half a medallion, what do I do next? Come to the um, castle immediately, you idiot. Every extra second I remain in Lord Plunderer's castle, I risk being discovered out. And so we see Daredevil is going to get back on his feet, and he's going to follow um, Boswell here. And he's going to be able to do it successfully because Boswell's vehicle is motorized and the motor is very loud the engine is very loud so he's able to ride along and he makes it back to the castle we see that the plunderer has discovered that there has been treachery here with feeper and feeper is trying to act like he's not responsible but we see here that boswell is going to come in he's going to try to shoot the plunderer the plunderer dives out of the way and shoots Feeper on accident here, and we see that then uh, the Plunderer is going to attack Boswell, and now he has both halves of that medallion. So now we see that the Plunderer is going to reign supreme here. He's going to try his best to become uh, ruler of all, and but Daredevil is going to try his best to stop the Plunderer here, so he dives on in. And what we're going to see is that the Plunderer is going to put up one heck of a fight here. He uses his battle axe trying to hit Daredevil here. And he notices that by having both parts of the medallion, that battle axe is starting to atomize here. And that's what happens with that mysterious medallion. We see that the police show up. They were reported and called last issue to get Kazar. So Kazar has been bound up here and he's going to go to court now because he's going to be charged for murder of um, Slag. We saw Slag, he died last issue and so we see that the plunderer 
is telling the cops here, and the cops are going to believe him, that Kazar is the one that's responsible for the murder of Slag, and so Daredevil has to prove Kazar innocent here. So how is he going to do that? Well, first off, he needs to stop the plunderer, but the plunderer is not going to allow Daredevil to get the final laugh here. Daredevil swings through the window. The police try to stop him here, but now we see that Kazar is wanting revenge on his brother because now his brother has wrongly done this to him, saying that Kazar is responsible for the murder of Slag. So Kazar is going in the police. We see that the plunderer has both halves of the medallion, and he's going to point it at this vault here. It starts to crack the vault, and we see that um, with that, he's finally going to able to form his own weapons here. And he makes these Viber Ray guns that can destroy any metal on Earth. And he formed his own costume, and here we have now the official look of the plunderer. He's no longer this pirate. He is now a full-fledged supervillain. But Daredevil here is going to have to figure out how to stop him as well as allow Kazar not to be guilty here. So what he's going to do is he's going to send a telegram to his friend Foggy Nelson and Karen Page here and they are so happy to learn that Matt Murdock is die or has is alive here. They had thought that he actually died, and when the plunderer took over that ship, that cruise ship, and so they're so happy, especially Karen Page, as we know that Karen Page has a huge crush on Matt Murdock. So we soon see here that they're going to go to England to help, uh, basically, you know prove Kazar innocent because that's what Matt has told them in that letter. So now Daredevil has to figure out how to fight and stop the military force of the plunder. He's recruited all these guys. These guys used to be pirates. And now they're these soldiers and they all have similar costumes to the plunderer. They've all been given new weapons here and what they're now going to do is they're going to raid this air or airplane base and this military base basically. Daredevil is going to wait. He sneaks up, attacks this guy, and he's going to put on this guy's costume. So he's going to be undercover this entire time as the plunderer is going to now go um, raid this place. We see that Karen Page and Foggy Nelson make it to England here, and they're so just enamored about how, you know, Matt Murdock is alive here, but they're also wondering the case of Kazar. How is he exactly innocent? They're going to have to figure all this out in court. We see that the plunderer makes it to this missile base, and that's where he's going to attack these people. His weapons here can basically disintegrate all of their weapons, even tanks. And so the plunderer here has become just a ruler of this missile base. He is extremely dangerous at this point. And Daredevil is right here with him, uh, seeing all this being taken place. Daredevil has seen enough, and so he takes off that costume, and he's now going to try to stop the plunderer once and for all here. Plunderer is telling him he, that he needs to shoot them right now. Shoot Daredevil. Daredevil tries his best. And he takes out the guys. Now he has to deal with the plunder. Back in court here, Matt, or we see that they're all waiting for Matt Murdock. Where the heck is Matt Murdock at? Well, Matt Murdock is actually facing a supervillain at this point. We see that Kazar comes in. Everybody is just enamored and like, holy crap, look at him. He looks like a guy from another age or something. He's like from the Stone Age or something. And so we see that as the judge is continuing to talk and he wants those chains taken off him, he's not going to have to worry about that because Kazar breaks the chains and he's on the loose. Uh, we had the police shooting at him. They shoot these gas shell barrage um, gas pellets 
and we see that that's going to knock out Kazar. Back in the action here, we see Daredevil's taking um, full-fledged and a big action here taking place with um, the Plunderer here trying his best to thwart the Plunderer, and it looks like the Daredevil is getting the upper hand here as a bunch of these military men start fighting as well. So we see that the Plunderer is defeated, and he admits to everybody that it wasn't his brother, Kazar, that murdered him. It was, in fact, a spy named Feepers who did it. And I lied about what I had seen. And so this is going to clear Kazar from being charged with murder. We see Daredevil is thanked by the military personnel here. And we see that Matt Murdock is going to then show up in the hospital where we see that Kazar is at. And, oh my goodness, look at the face of Karen Page. I mean, she is just absolutely in love with Matt Murdock. She can't just stop smiling at this point at Matt Murdock. And we see here that he has a lot to tell them. I mean, he has a, a big story to tell because he can't tell them that he is Daredevil. So it's going to be one heck of a plane ride back to the States here. And that's how we end this great issue, folks. Hope you liked it. It's a pretty good conclusion, I have to say myself. We see that Matt Murdock is going to join, rejoin uh, Foggy Nelson and Karen Page because they never took down Matt Murdock's name. And so it looks like Matt Murdock will be rejoining Foggy Nelson in their law firm. So that's going to be pretty cool. And so we see Daredevil is making his way back to the States. And next issue, we see DD fights his strongest foe. Enough said. Who could that be? We'll find out next issue in issue number 15. Hope to see you there. But go ahead now and click the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not. Comment down below what you liked about this video. And subscribe if you have not. And I will see y'all in the next one.